Hi there, Nicole here from Dance to the Beat and welcome to the Hormone and Metabolism Reboot Workshop. I'm going to be going through my signature approach, which I call the Body Breakthrough Blueprint, which teaches you how to create a healthy metabolism, balance your hormones, and have more energy without having to go on diets, restrict your calories, or cut carbs. This video is gonna be short, but packed with value. And if you stay to the end, I will send you a free metabolic checklist. And this is going to be a crucial step for you to figure out what exactly is going on with your hormones and your metabolism and how you can get your body back on track. If you're tired of struggling with energy and feeling like your hormones are out of whack or that your metabolism has just slowed down, then this is for you. Before I get into the three steps, I wanna talk about a few case studies so you can see what is actually possible for you. First, meet Tara. Tara explained, throughout the program, I was able to understand how food and hormones interact with one another. I never knew hormones could play such a large role in weight gain and that I could have cycles that aren't super painful. And then there was Jen. Jen said, my biggest struggles were low energy levels, acne, weight management, and I was frustrated because I eat pretty healthy and work out regularly, and I didn't understand what was happening, and I was relying on energy drinks to get me going. But now, my energy levels are off the charts, my skin is beautiful, and my acne has disappeared, and I finally have control of my weight. And finally, there's my Clovia. She had awesome results, and she said, I dropped five pounds in one week, and this is amazing because weight never wants to drop off of me, and now I actually sleep through the night. I also learned how to properly structure my meals for happy hormones, and I learned about how to reduce the impact of stress on my body naturally. So look, I know what it feels like to have no control over your hormones and your metabolism, and it doesn't have to be that way. That's how all of these previous clients felt, and I wanted to show you that if it can happen for them, it can happen for you too. If you're dealing with damaged metabolism and imbalanced hormones, your life might look a little bit at something like this. Maybe you feel tired. It's hard to have the energy to work out or make it through your work day without an extra hit of caffeine. You may be feeling like you have to be super restrictive or starving in order to really feel good in your body. You also may be feeling like whatever you do doesn't matter because nothing changes. You also are probably tired of trying diet after diet that does not work long term and then having to start all over again. And finally, you also may not be feeling in control of your mood and emotions and you might be just sick and tired of dealing with anxiety. Hi, I'm Nicole, certified nutritionist, herbalist, and health coach, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my journey because I like kale salads and I like smoothies, but I don't have to live off of them to get results. In fact, I love to have tacos, I eat potatoes on a regular basis, and I even have vegan ice cream. The difference is that when I have ice cream, I don't eat the whole pint, I don't crave it, I just have some because I enjoy it. And I don't walk around obsessing about food or going on diets or counting my calories or over exercising, yet I am stronger and more in shape than I was when I was in my 20s. <laughs> and instead of waking up with anxiety and wondering what do I have to worry about, I wake up with a lot of energy feeling really good every day, feeling really good in my body. I remember a time when I was on and off birth control and I felt like I might snap at my friends at any moment. I kind of felt this like rage inside of me. And I also remember a time when my hormones were so imbalanced that I just put on weight and like no matter what I did, it wouldn't go away. You know, I tried juicing, I tried fasting, I tried exercising a ton, I tried eating less, I tried, you know, the hormone supplements. Um, and nothing that I seemed to do seemed to really make a difference. And actually knowing what I know now, I realized that I was probably doing things that were further damaging my hormones and metabolism. And it wasn't until I got started on my path to becoming a nutritionist and an herbalist, and I started work realizing like how hormones and how metabolism, how it all worked together, and I was able to get to the root cause of why I was holding onto the weight and really just get my body to a healthy place. And then once I did that, the weight came off. But not only that, 
I had more energy. I felt in control of my emotions. I had less cravings. I was sleeping better and my bloating went down. So as I got my body to a healthy place, I not only reached a healthy weight, but I also felt better physically and mentally. From my experience and from my training, I've developed this approach that's a little bit different than maybe you know the diets or the things that you've seen in the past that you've tried that haven't worked for you. But why is this different? Because what has kept you from feeling in control of your weight and your emotions is that you may have seen each issue that pops up on your body as being separate instead of all being connected to what I call the root cause. But this isn't your fault because nobody teaches us this and we're so focused on weight loss that sometimes we lose sight of just really creating a healthy body and a healthy metabolism. That's why in my signature approach, the Body Breakthrough Blueprint, I've designed it so that you can recharge your metabolism, balance your hormones, and do this without cutting carbs, being on a diet, or having to count or weigh your food because a lot of this is just not a healthy way to live or a healthy way to eat. So let's get into the three steps to healing your metabolism and balancing your hormones. Step one is to do a deep dive into your metabolic markers. This means we really wanna see what is going on. So how do we do this? We do this by doing a full analysis of your body to get insight into the health of all of your organs and all of your systems and to make connections so that we can address what is holding you back. There are many ways that we can do this. Um, a few of them are through the metabolic checklist, which is your free gift that you're gonna receive after this video as well as doing blood work and taking your temperature. These can both give a lot of insights into what's going on in our bodies. Number two, we are going to get to the root cause of your imbalances. So once you have identified where the imbalances and insufficiencies are, um, then we want to work on the changes that are going to make the biggest impact for your whole body. So when I talk about the root causes, what I mean is things like blood sugar, stress, your gut health, your liver health, and your nutrient levels. Those are the root causes. Those are things that affect everything else going on in your body. For instance, did you know that your liver filters out excess estrogen, it stimulates bowel movement, and it converts thyroid hormones? So if you're having issues with all of these things, working on one thing, working on improving your liver health, will improve all three things. This is what I mean when I talk about getting to the root cause instead of looking at each one of these things individually. Step three is to create an individual holistic plan for you to thrive. This is something based on what you learned about what's going on in your body, what your root causes are, not just following the latest fad diet. So to get your body to a healthy baseline, you can add specific superfoods, herbs, and sometimes even supplements. And some of these aren't needed long-term, but to get your body to that healthy baseline, they can help to kind of speed up the process. And also understanding which foods for you can help keep all of your systems healthy so that you're not wasting your money on the next fad superfood that claims to cure all and wondering if it will help. Spoiler alert, it won't. <laughs> but the first step before even doing any of these three steps is to really believe that it is possible. And you might be saying, of course I believe it's possible. But I want you to do a short practice with me. Think about a time in your life when you felt really good in your body. Or if that was never you, if you don't remember a time that you do, think about somebody to you that epitomizes health. Now, does that person, whether that's you in the past or you right now, does that feel out of reach? Does it feel like they're on a pedestal? Or can you imagine yourself being there? So just take a moment right now and put yourself in either that person's shoes, whether that's you or someone else, and just imagine yourself really feeling that way. Does that feel achievable? Does that feel like something that you can do and feel that emotion? Because believing it's possible instead of thinking that nothing you do will ever work for you is going to be a huge step in making sure that you can actually make changes and get results. So are you ready to learn how? So these are the things that you need to know in order to recharge your metabolism and balance your hormones. These are things that you need to really understand in order to make this happen. Number one is why the only way to have consistent energy and feel in control of your weight and your hormones is to fix the root cause. Number two, 
why reviving your hormones and metabolism is actually easier than you may think. And number three, why your body isn't just broken. Your metabolism hasn't just stopped and you aren't just cursed with bad hormones. So let's get into each one of these individually now. Number one, why the only way to have consistent energy and feel in control of your weight and your hormones is to fix the root cause. So take this example. Insufficiencies in your stress hormones, also known as the adrenals, or your reproductive hormones like estrogen and progesterone, as well as your thyroid, all of these hormones, if they're out of whack, that can cause you to store excess fat. So if you do something like just cutting carbs or severely limiting calories to lose weight or just not eating enough, this can actually further damage your hormones. Your body may think you're in starvation mode and it may slow down and your hormones may be suffering and you may actually even put on more weight. But the thing is, if you fuel your adrenals and your thyroid and your reproductive hormones with what they need, your body will work more efficiently and it will stop storing the excess weight. Now there are a couple myths I hear when it comes to this idea, so I just wanna bust those right now. The myths around this are that cutting carbs is the only way to lose weight. It's absolutely not. Number two is that you have to lose weight to be healthy. But actually, if you get your body to a healthy place, then you will lose excess fat, not the other way around. Number three is that you have to feel hungry if you want to get results. Look, if you are eating the right combination of foods, you can actually trust your hunger signals and your body will actually tell you how much you need to eat. I do this myself, I have done this for over a decade and this is what I help all of my clients do as well. You can trust your body, you just have to learn how. So let's get further into number two. Why reviving your hormones and your metabolism is actually easier than you may think. So here's the thing, this is what's hard. What is hard is when you don't have enough energy to get through your work day or to work out, when you're not feeling rested, when you're feeling bloated all the time, when you have brain fog, or you don't wanna be around anyone or do anything when that time of the month rolls around. That's hard. What's not hard is incorporating some new foods or adjusting your plate to get the right balance of nutrients. What I'm talking about is not a crash diet that's going to completely overhaul your life. It is meant to teach you how to fuel your lifestyle and work with the foods that you love. Because here's the thing, if you feel good, if you have more energy and a clearer mental state, life becomes easier. So let's talk about a couple of the myths around this idea. Some people think that extreme diets or cutting out entire food groups is the only way to see real change. But this is actually really damaging, and even if it does work short term, you probably know this is not sustainable. Some people also think that you have to completely overhaul your diet, but the thing is, you can work within your lifestyle and just make some small modifications and still eat foods you enjoy. Another myth is that people think you have to change your diet and have it be super time consuming or stressful. But the thing is, if you're eating in a way that fuels your body, it actually relieves stress. And I have got plenty of recipes that do not take a lot of time because look, I love being in the kitchen, I love cooking, but I am also busy and sometimes I don't have the time, so I need things that work to fuel a healthy lifestyle as well. So let's get into number three. Why your body isn't just broken, your metabolism hasn't just stopped, and you aren't just cursed with bad hormones. Look, there is nothing wrong with your body. But over time, we may be inadvertently doing things that damage our organs. We may be doing things that overstress the hormones and cause the metabolism to not have what it needs to function efficiently. So excess weight and hormonal problems, these are actually symptoms that are meant to show us that something else is going on. So instead of masking them with pills, we need to give them what they need to function optimally. Because look, we weren't meant to have to live on pills or hormones to feel in control of our emotions or to feel like ourselves. Because if we get to the root cause and improve the health of our hormones, almost everything is reversible. I have seen this firsthand time and time again. So let's go over a couple myths surrounding this idea. A lot of people think that your metabolism just slows when you get older. 
That's not true. What happens is that after a long time of not giving your body what it needs, it's finally had enough. But with the right changes, you can reverse that and feel in control again. Many people also think like I was just cursed with bad hormones. That's not true either. You know, we were born in these beautiful, healthy bodies. The problem is that we weren't properly taught how to care for them. So often as women, health is equated to weight loss and it doesn't take into consideration the health of our hormones, which affects weight loss, but also affects everything else from our mood to our sleep, to the way we live our day-to-day -day lives and even our mental health. Finally, you may feel like there is something inside you that is broken and not fixable. But let me tell you that your body is a beautiful vessel and by giving it what it needs, you can get results. So now you know that the real issue is that we've been looking at everything as being separate instead of just getting to the root cause that affects everything else. Can you see how this will work for you? So let's do a little review of those first three steps. So the three steps to improving your metabolism, balancing your hormones, and having more energy is number one, to do a deep dive into your metabolic markers. You'll get a metabolic checklist via email within the next few hours to help you do exactly this. Number two is to fix the root cause of your imbalances. Instead of seeing these as separately, to actually get to the root cause of things I talked about and fix those. And number three is to create an individual holistic plan for you to thrive based on what you find, based on your body, and learning how to listen to your body and not just chasing the latest fad diet. So here's what we've covered. We've covered why the only way to have consistent energy and feel in control of your weight and your hormones is to fix the root cause. And number two, why reviving your hormones and metabolism is actually easier than you may think. And number three, why feeling like there's just something wrong with your body or your metabolism that's not fixable is absolutely untrue. So now you have two choices. One, you can keep struggling with imbalanced hormones and a sluggish metabolism and not feeling like you have the energy. Or two, you can make the decision to feel really good in your body again. So if you are committed to recharging your metabolism and healing your hormones, I want to invite you to book your free metabolic breakthrough session by clicking the link below. In this session, we will talk for an hour and we will map out a plan for you to feel re-energized and be in control of your hormones and your metabolism. Look, if you are tired of running on the hamster wheel of dieting and not getting results that last long term, and if you're committed to getting to the root cause and actually healing your metabolism so that it functions more efficiently, and you know that you can feel more energized and really good in your body when your hormones are balanced, if this all sounds like you, then this metabolic breakthrough session will be perfect for you. So just make sure you click the link below to grab your free session now and let's talk. And now let's hear from Taylor, another one of my clients with amazing results. I was dealing with a ton of fatigue. My skin started breaking out and um, looking really dull. My hair wasn't like curling as beautiful as it usually does. And I was like, what is going on with me? And then I saw Nicole's program and I was like, <sighs> like I, I, I should invest in my health in this way. And she helped me with my hormones, my gut health. She helped me get my skin clear again and just like feel beautiful again. I am so happy that you took the time for yourself to watch to the end so you can start understanding what is going on in your body. You will also be receiving your free gift, the metabolic checklist in your inbox in the next hour or so. Once you have that, um, make sure that you schedule your free metabolic breakthrough session if you wanna go ahead and do that now. Um, Cause once you have that, you'll have a really good insight as to kind of what is going on. And then we can talk about that more in our session and I can lay out a plan so you can see what you need to do moving forward to really feel good in your body again. The link to book is below. I'm really excited to talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day.